So I just wanted to go over the rack system that I use for conventions when I'm doing Artist Alley. Um, I've switched up over a couple uh, shows recently, but this is my new setup. Uh, I used to do a uh, floor mounted backdrop style with the flat legs, but it wasn't really the best because I'd be kind of sitting in front of it. So I went and switched to a table mounted. But yeah, I'll just go through that and how I travel with it. So first thing first is traveling. Um, when I started doing out-of-state shows, I wanted a good way of traveling with the rack to where it wouldn't get ruined or anything. So I know most people go with like a hard golf case. I just went with a, uh, it's an art portfolio tube. And then I built a custom case for it. So that makes it a little nicer because I, I traveled to my first out-of-state show with just the tube. And by the time we got to the airport, there was broken pieces on it. So when we left that show, we were having to duct tape everything just to make sure it would make it home. But this case has uh, gone through many shows, many airports, and I've never had any issues with it. So, and if I ruin it, I can just make a new one. But yeah, so just an art tube. I think the tube was only like 50, 60 bucks on Amazon. So I'll be sure to post that for a link. But yeah, and it's adjustable. I think I've got mine at like 37 inches total. So yeah, um, aside from that, you know, like I said, I used to do a floor mounted one with flat bases, um, I, I hate the tripod bases. They get in the way, no one around you likes them either. So, um, and that I had a fitted sheet that went over it that was nice and tight and then uh, Velcro strips that went down it that held my uh, prints that were in plastic sleeves. The downside of that setup was all the lights would reflect and people couldn't really see the art. So they pretty much only be coming in because they were seeing the stuff that was on my tables. So I switched to a table mounted and most of the table mount systems that I've seen, they're usually just the back piece and then they have a floating bar come off the side. I didn't want that. I wanted to be mounted on all four corners and then having a bar on the side. So in order to do that, I had to buy two of these uh, E-Mart e backdrop table racks. And then I had to modify one of the sets. So the back one is completely stock right, right out of the case. The one that is for the sides, I had to modify the bars that go on the sides. So on this rack, the back piece is two separate pieces that screw together. Uh, one will have male and the other will have female. So in order to do what I wanted, I had to add threads to the one that was just a female thread. So the threading on this is an M8 by 1.25 and it sticks out half an inch. And then I think I had a half inch inside and I just used a, uh, an M8125 bolt. I cut the head off, um, worked the threads and then, uh, thread locked it inside with only a half inch hanging out. And that gave me my threads. So the next thing was figuring out, attaching it to the back piece. So I designed a piece that would screw into this piece. So it'd be like that. And then what happens is this section right here, the bar that's on the table would go up into it. And then there's a hole right there that the screw would go through 
Then it would go through the bar on the table and it would screw into that back bar. So everything is screwed together and it's mounted on all four sides. The other thing I had to do was modify these bars. So I had to shorten them uh, a little bit. So when you do that, you have to shorten the inside and the outer bar. So you had to separate them. So as you can see, that bar is a little shorter than what this one's supposed to be just by seeing where the plastic uh, clamp is. So essentially I had to heat up this section with just a heat gun and twist them apart because it is kind of compressed. Uh, once you get them apart, uh, this bar right here will slide out the bottom of this because this piece has a bunch of flared ends on it. So once you cut these, so I cut the inner and the outer seven inches shorter. So obviously seven inches on the outer on the non-screw side and then seven inches on the inner on the non-threaded side. Then I had to put a new flare on the inner bar. That way it doesn't slide out of the plastic piece. So I literally just took um, just a punch in there and then just hammered putting some dimples that would just make it so it wouldn't slide out of that bar. And that made it so it was good. But yeah, I think my max that I went is like three feet maybe. So, cause I know the average table you're gonna get at any convention is gonna be a six foot table by two feet. So, and I think even my, yeah, my standard is gonna be under the two feet. So, yeah, I will post links for the racks, the tube, and then a link to this piece. And then as for hanging my prints, I just have uh, S-hooks that connect to my um, mini snap rails from Popco. And then even for those, I 3D model the piece to connect two rails together. That way I'm not having to tape them. I think that's pretty much everything that I've done on this. So, yeah. So this image is showing uh, the piece all connected up on that back rail. So as you can see, it connects to the side rail and then it goes around that back corner and then the screw goes through it connecting to the uh, back rail.